Have you been? <laughs> so for those that don't know, yeah. it's only got like 70 million views, I think, or something like that. So people have to. It's been picked up as a movie, I believe. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we're doing it as a movie right now. And uh, it was really crazy because we were talking to the writer and the producer and they were trying to like pitch me story ideas, but they were tied to like real life things that had happened. One of the things that had happened, they were talking about strip clubs. And I was Hold on, like, can we run through this real quick? You went on a trip to Russia. Oh, I, uh, in 1995, I, I, with my class, got involved with the Russian mafia uh, <laughs> and then robbed a train with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds, it's so funny I say it, it, I have no connection to it. Like I say it like it, when the story went viral, the story went viral like four years ago, changed my career. This is why it went viral. This is the most interesting st- part of this whole story that you're about to hear. When I posted it, one of the one of the girls in my class had just got online on Facebook, saw it, and was like, "Oh, I'm gonna comment real quick," and wrote in the comment sections, uh, "This story is 100 percent true." Legitimized it. Uh, I was in Bert's Russian class. He robbed us, <laughs> <laughs> and then tagged everyone in my class. You can't pay for marketing like that. Oh, yeah. You can't get marketing like that. So, uh, so then it goes viral. It's got like I, I don't I. I I, I can tell you how many views I got on my pages, but what happens was is content providers like the, oh, yeah. the fat Jewish or whatever, mm-hmm. they take it and put it, and they get 180 million views. Those are that's the game changer. Those guys. So they put po- they get, it gets bought as a movie. We're sitting in a pitch talking about story ideas for the movie, and they're like, "Oh yeah, maybe the machine can go to a strip club." And I was like, "That's so funny. It's a true story. I went to a strip club when we were with the mafia, and uh, <laughs> the Russian mafia." Yeah. And they were like, uh, we walk in and they go, do you want uh, full touch or no touch? I'm like, who gets no touch? (laughs) (laughs) I'll go full touch, guys. I'll go full touch. And then we get in the room. She goes, take your pants off. And I was like, huh? What? Oh, no, 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 no. I want no touch. I want no touch. I want no touch. So wait, this is 1995. And I I lived in Tallahassee. Grow up in Florida my whole life. So the girl goes, give me a lap dance, and she smells horrific. <laughs> I mean, horrific. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I can stomach through this one. I'm getting a new chick for the next one. Yeah, of course. Get a new lap dance. Next chick smells identical. I mean, I mean, <laughs> so bad, so bad that I'm like, ugh, what is wrong with these women? <laughs> Cut to uh, like 20 years later, I'm on a second date with my wife. And we walk into an Indian restaurant, and I go, this smells like Russian horse. <laughs> <laughs> they had just had Indian food, and I had never had Indian food. <laughs> curry. It was curry. Right? It was curry. <laughs> yeah, I guess they had all had curry that night, but curry is so bad at a lap dance. Yeah. <laughs> you're just not having a cool, you're just like, oh, this is what Russian vaginas <laughs> Not even a thought that it was curry food. So is that going to make the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, I hope so. <laughs> it was so funny. Like it was, it was crazy because they were telling me story ideas, and I, and I had lived it. But you tell it so much, you don't even. It doesn't even register as real. Yeah, it's like when people it's like character. Yeah, it's like when people talk to you about uh, professional football. It's a part of your life that you're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You take so many pictures and go, oh thank you, thank you. That when they talk about it, you're like, oh yeah. Like another thing, we robbed myself because my bag's with my class, so we robbed me. <laughs> And we stole, my dad had given me a very sentimental pocket uh, knife. Uh, uh, and he was like, buddy, you'll need this when you're traveling through Europe and cutting a baguette and opening a <laughs> bottle of wine. And the mob stole it. Just stole a pocket knife. And I was like, uh, maybe we shouldn't steal that. Right? <laughs> I mean, some of these kids have sentimental rings about what they got, right? <laughs> so, yeah. By the way, the way you described that was, we stole from me. Yeah, we, yeah. dude, I, it, was, it was crazy how we stole, how we robbed people because... What we do is, they'd open the door up a little bit, and then the how little, long was this? What do you mean? Like the rob? It was a couple hours, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It was all night. It was all night. Uh, <laughs> it was all night. It was my class was really quick because we were just one train car, but there were like nine train cars, so we robbed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 